Hello, what's going on everybody? My name is Moses Workman. I'm uh, the secretary here at the Wilkinsburg Borough Building. Um, I work with the uh, members of the Wilkinsburg Public Library. I'm here today to read uh, some Ezra Jack Keats, maybe about two books, and um, hopefully you enjoy. Um, the books that we're going to read today are Whistle for Willie and High Cat. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started with Whistle for Willie. Hopefully you enjoy. Um, and uh, sit back and listen. Okay, this is Whistle for Willie. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead he turned to himself. Around and around and around he whirled, faster and faster. When he stopped, everything turned down and up and up and down, and around, and around. <laughs> Peter saw his dog, Willie, coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in an empty cart, I'm sorry, he hid in an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled, Peter thought. Willie would stop and look all around to see who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but still he couldn't. So Willie just walked on. Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalks out of his pocket and drew a long, long line right up to his door. He stood there and tried to whistle again. He blew until his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. He went into his house and put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still, no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, why no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for them, said Peter. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. Then he tried to run away from his shadow. He jumped off of his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where, where the carton was, and who should he see but Willie? Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and blew and blew. Suddenly, out came a real whistle. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. It's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight to him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he can do. They love Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there, and he whistled all the way home. And that's Whistle, whistle for Willie. I hope you all enjoyed that. We'll move on to the next book, which is High Cat. Um, give me a second to find the page. Let's see here. All right, here we are. Here we are with High Cat starts on this side over here. This is a book that I used to read as a kid as well. I barely remember it. I haven't seen it in a while, but I'll go ahead and get started. Okay. Archie whispered something to Peter and ran off. Stick around, folks. Peter called. We have a surprise for you. When Archie got back, he and Peter worked while everyone waited. Okay, Peter announced. Make way for Mr. Big Face. A big paper bag appeared. Then a tongue stuck out of one of the eyes. A hand came out of an ear and motioned everyone to move closer. They all obeyed. Suddenly, the bag, be the bag began to shake. It shook harder and harder. And... Meow! <laughs> People started to leave. Wait, wait, wait! The show will go on. See the tallest dog in the world take a walk? Archie shouted. Some show, Grandpa. Some tall dog. Who ate your mustache, Grandpa? Everyone walked away laughing. So no one was left except Archie, Peter, Willie, and the torn paper bag. 
It would have been great if it wasn't for that crazy cat, said Peter, as they walked home. Hmm, said Archie. He sure stuck around. And all I said was, hi, cat, said Archie, finishing his story. You're well rid of a cat like that, said his mother. Archie thought for a while, you know what, Ma? He said, I think that cat just kind of liked me. And that's it. Well, thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed uh, my reading of um, the famous Ezra Jack Keats. He was big in my childhood. That's why I chose to read him today. And um, if you want to see more, I don't know, maybe comment. I'll do some more. And uh, thanks for tuning in. See you later.